Roark reviews Jay Jonah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jessica Jones, Netflix series exclusive. <laughs> no. Okay. We're, record- we're reviewing Mrs. Jessica Jones. She's not a Mrs. Fine. She's What's- a Miss. Didn't she have a name before Jessica Jones in the comic? No. I'm pretty sure she did. I don't think so. All right. I don't whatever. think Jessica Jones is her alias. It, her superhero name was Jewel. No, but I thought I read that she had a different last name before I she was adopted. I don't, I don't know. Well, if she was adopted by the Walkers, wouldn't her name be Jessica Walker? That's what I'm saying. It's different from the comics. Okay, bitch. None of us are familiar are familiar enough with the damn comics. Neither series. am I. That's, I said none of us. <laughs> I thought you, when you say us, I thought I'm you, speaking for you, bitch. No, you don't speak for me. I speak for you. <laughs> Shit. I'm enemy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try to review this shit in one video, and it's like 12 episodes, so we're not going to... Yeah, we don't have to cover everything. Shit. I'm just saying, we're, I want to let them know there's no we're going to cover everything. We're, there's stuff we already forgot. I'm going to give you the rating right up front. It's two out of four. <laughs> It's good. It's worth watching. I give it a 7 out of 10. Seven Is out that of ten. a 3? Is it 2 or 3 out of 4? <laughs> get out of here, bitch. You get Use out of here. the system. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck the system. <laughs> God. 7 out of 10, bruh. Okay, yeah, that's about where I was thinking. I thought that was 2 out of 4. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Two so, hearts. So, what do we? how do we do this? How are we going to review this? Stupid well, show. You basically, okay, we do a pro and a con. 7 out of 10, here are the pros, here are the cons. Wait. Let's start with the good. <laughs> what? Well, speaking of uh, 7 out of 10, what, what would you rate Jessica Jones? Oh, shit. <laughs> you already know it's a fucking 4. Out of 4? <laughs> <laughs> 4 out of 10. Damn! Oh, bitch, that's a 1 out of 4. <laughs> Oh my god. That's like, don't see it. Don't look at her. <laughs> don't even look at so her. Don't even, watch the, don't even watch the show. She's got such bad looks. What's she, her, do you know her name, her actress name? I forgot. I don't even care. Wow. I'm pretty sure. I, it's not like I'm trying to like look her up for her sex tape. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. I can't believe Gosh. this. I'm pretty sure her name is Harold Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> so four out of ten. Yeah, for it, we're talking about the looks. We're talking about the the actress's looks. Yes. Oh, please. I give her a seven, five, maybe eight. What the fuck, David? What? Come I on. know you don't believe that. I believe it. You just you just think of Michael Jackson. Yeah, she looks like Michael Jackson. It's your fault. It's it's not my fault. It's her parents' fault for breeding <laughs> and and making another Michael Jackson in the world. That's your fault for thinking that. She could literally put on a white suit and a hat that covers her, like, face, covers her eyes, and, her, like, have her hair up. She'd look like fucking smooth criminal Michael Jackson. <laughs> Gosh, dude. Not to mention, she just, uh, she's just awkward looking. And, like, Damn. that nose, uh. Oh, my god. That nose and that pasty, pale, ghostly, phantom-esque skin. Look like she's dead. Look like she's a fucking zombie because her skin's just like can see right through it. Shit, oh my looking God. like a villain off of Scooby Doo. What? Gosh. All right. What would you rate Luke Cage? <laughs> He's definitely more attractive than Jessica Jones. Gosh. God. Okay. Enough about the looks. That I'm going to put that aside in the review for this series. Okay. Good. Because the looks don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Jessica Jones, for those of you who don't know, this is Netflix exclusive series like Daredevil. Um, mm-hmm. And just a brief overview because I kind of had to look this up. I didn't know who the fuck Jessica Jones was when I first like heard about it. Like I'm, 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 I like Marvel, but I don't like read all of Marvel. I read specific things. She is a private investigator. This is pretty much a general through all the comic runs. She's a private investigator. She's PI. Pass interference. 
<laughs> Private investigator in Hell's Kitchen, um, New York, where um, Matt Murdock, Daredevil, also Woo! operates, as well as many other superheroes. I mean, you could arguably... I mean, there's a lot of Marvel, Marvel characters that um, fight crime in New York. But aside from that... Um, this is a this is a series that is not it's not an origin series. It's like takes place in media res, like media resolution. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes place in the uh, middle. Okay, let's say in media res, bitch. I know. So it's like after she was a superhero. Yeah, we don't. It, as far as the the TV series, the Netflix series, what do you even consider a web series? It's not. Like what the fuck do you consider that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever. So the the series we don't know exactly what they're using as their you know their origin story. You know, I read a little bit about the comic book runs and like that, but I'm not gonna go off any of that because we we're just gonna talk about the show. Um, so it takes place. Jessica Jones has just gotten out of this traumatic experience. Which um, in the comic books she. Was under Kilgrave's control. Yeah, and, and she it, was forced to like kill the Avengers. Somebody. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it wasn't even the Avengers. Like, I guess he had him. He had her go into like a random house in the comics, and it ended up being like one of the safe house Avenger mm-hmm. safe houses yeah. in the comic books. Or and then um, Iron Man and like some other guy almost like killed her. I think. Yeah, and then Jean in the comics, Jean Grey like helps her um, break. The spell and and he and someone else helps her heal. Yeah, Miss Hum- they said that Miss Marvel helped her from being killed. Yeah, from Iron then, Man, I think. And then Jean Grey does some shit to her mind, allows her to like become immune to like being like telepathically controlled. Yeah, and which then, is bullshit in the show. Yeah, and it, yeah, so the show takes a totally different route. Kilgrave is still the main antagonist for Jessica Jones, but in the show, it's really interesting because. Um, he's so it's so he's so twisted, and so like Jessica Jones is like following like a path of dead people, and like weird ass shit that's going on because of him mm-hmm. in the city. She thinks she's killed this guy, um, but he's not dead. He's like come back. Yeah. So throughout the course of these twelve episodes, Jessica Jones goes in and out of trying to capture this dude, and decide whether or not she's gonna kill his ass or what, whatever. And along the way, she like the the main the main conflict, the 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 central conflict of the whole twelve episodes, is there's this young girl named Hope huh. that gets um a well she she like basically like runs away from home, and her parents come to Jessica Jones and say our daughter's missing, she's here in Hell's Kitchen. And um, we want you to find her as a private investigator. And Just that's, that's where Kilgrave basically starts his like revenge, right? Yeah, or, and like it's through this person that Kilgrave like we you find out that the, that the daughter, this Hope girl, is actually under like Kilgrave's control, and like she, that's where she's trapped and, and imprisoned is under Kilgrave's mind control, mm-hmm. where she does some weird kinky shit or whatever, and so. Jessica finds this out, and she's like, "You guys got to get the hell out of here. This you don't know. You don't know who you're fucking dealing with." So, like, Jessica rescues Hope early on in the series, and then Hope, and then Hope, it hasn't completely broke free of Kilgrave's control, and she kills her parents, yeah, like in cold, like bloody way, like with a gun that she like just pulls out of her ass or something. And then she gets in prison, this Hope Girl. And, and Jessica jo- then we find out that Jessica um, Jones has been under Kilgrave's control in the past. That's her traumatic experience that she's like been like, that's total or like sent her into midlife crisis. So then her, Jessica Jones feels responsible for Hope killing her parents because she just kind of let her go back with her parents and told them to leave town. So Jessica Jones feels like this obligation to prove Hope's innocence. And this is like the central like thing that drives Jessica to try to stop Kilgrave. Not because she's trying to like get rid of him. She's just trying to prevent Hope 
an innocent girl who was forced to kill people and trying to prove that. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting because it plays with this whole thing about this whole universe to where people know that there's these, they call them gifted people, people with superpowers and super abilities in the show. And so it plays with this whole dynamic to where it's like, we know they exist, but trying to prove that someone can like control minds and make people do something they don't want to do is, um, is really hard in like a court of law. Yeah. So that's kind of a basic run through along the way. She meets Luke Cage. Yeah. Um, she meets some, um, some face, some familiar faces from Daredevil series. Not anyone really significant. The nurse, well, the Claire, Claire at the end, the nurse that yeah. like is, a, is Daredevil's lover. And, um, that's how Electra comes in. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, some of the cops are familiar from Daredevil too. Um, and then there's some, also some really subtle references to other Marvel characters that I wasn't really familiar with either. Um, throughout the, um, throughout the series. So it, it's interesting. I guess there's a guy, um, who is, um, oh, Simpson, guy? Simpson in the comics his he's Frank Simpson, but I don't know if that's his name in, um, in the in the series, his last name Simpson the same, but he ends up being the Marvel villain um, called Nuke, which is part of like a um, super soldier program. Um, that's and he's so he's kind of vital in the comics. He plays a bigger role, but in the in the show, he, he plays a an, he's on, he's an antihero sort of, and he kind of like loses his mind. Um, so that's there's a bunch of di- inter- interesting dynamics because Luke Cage. Um, is really cool because I mean I've always liked Luke Cage. I never really I never really followed his uh, comic uh, runs really f- religiously. But um, other than that, I'm trying to think who else am I missing? Other cool people? Not nothing really. Kind of stays confined to Luke Cage, her her like uh, adopted sister Trish Walker, who's like a celebrity in Hell's Kitchen, mm-hmm. and uh, Patsy. Yeah, and uh, Kilgrave, and then this Simpson guy. Um, other than and that, like the there's... first, the first time they meet, it's like all, all sex. Like, oh gosh, yeah, <laughs> that's the one criticism I have. Is like, whatever, you guys want to, you know, so have much. sex scene or whatever, but. Yeah, there, there. The halfway point of the series was ridiculous with how much sex was going on. Like in one episode, her and Luke Cage had sex like three times in one episode, <laughs> and it was like within like eight minutes. Yeah. Like of the episode, I'm just like, are you fucking serious? Like, so our synopsis basically goes like this: like episode one through episode seven are like great. Like, it builds up, and it's awesome. But from episode, like, eight... I don't know. Well, episode three or four is the one that had the hell of sex. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be the one that says it's a bad thing. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Okay, fine. If you take out the sex of the third and fourth one, one through seven are pretty good episodes. Like, it's suspenseful, building up. You're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. And then, but like eight through twelve, it really starts pissing. It really started pissing yeah. me off. At the, yeah, at, after the episode where they had the, um, they had him locked up in that glass thing. Yeah. Okay, before, okay, even before that, the episode where they almost caught him was ridiculous. In the the very first time where she storms the high rising house, uh, where she breaks in through the roof. No. Okay. Not that when they kidnap him, with the. Oh, yeah, yeah, when they get the shit beat out of them. Yeah. With the was, stun batons. That was so stupid. Yeah, dog, yeah, that was stupid. They just had to find a way to extend that shit. That was episode six, I think. Nah. Five? He's four or five. Right. Yeah, that's that's the one thing about it is, like, when I did read her, like, I her profile, like, and stuff, like, on some of the Marvel threads and stuff like that. I was um, I was surprised at how powerful she is in the comics, but how fucking weak she is in the series. Yeah, well, she, the thing is, like, she could be strong 
Sometimes she's really strong. Sometimes she's like weak, which is stupid. Yeah, and I I don't like that. Like, cause she could fly. Yeah, like but then in she one can't episode. Fly. Yeah, in in one episode she fucking flew away and took yeah. this dude to a hospital. Yeah. And then in in the ending scenes, all she can do is jump far distances. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, and she what? got beat the shit out of her with those those electric. Batons. Yeah. Yeah, she she could have easily took those guys out. Easily. Yeah, and I, I don't... This is like the girl who can lift cars up. Yeah. And, like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, where... There was an inc- there was an inconsistency with her powers. Yeah. And the extent of it. There was no clear definition of it. Yeah. And so that kind of pissed me off. I remember that part where, uh... I, when she got knocked out by that wooden... The two by four or whatever. Oh my gosh! From uh, yeah, yeah, from the girl, from yeah, the crazy chick, the crazy sister. Yeah, that um, that was, that was oh my gosh, yeah. You would think that if someone has super like strength, um, and is like a superhuman, um, they could take some crazy blows. Yeah. Like think of like Captain America, like he's not invincible, but he can still take some heavy ass hits, like as a sup- as a super soldier. But, um, so yeah, so that, but let's get back, let's get back to the good things. I love how, like, ruthless and brutal Kilgrave is in the show. Yeah. Because that's really rare that you see a show like that. And I, that's one, one cool thing about these Netflix series that's freaking awesome. Well, yeah, this one was, I felt like much more gory, had more gore and, yeah, more gore compared to Daredevil. Oh, yeah, definitely. Daredevil was like child's play compared to that because, um, Oh gosh, like just like the stabbing parts. Oh yeah. And Jessica Jones, you're just like, oh, I can't believe they. It's just really rare. As I was like, I can't believe they showed this shit like mm-hmm. in the thing. But yeah, there were some crazy parts, and the whole mind control thing. Like they re- did a really good job with Kilgrave. Yeah. Like I think Kilgrave was a was a cooler character than Jessica Jones. <laughs> Even though he was pretty creepy. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that I admire him and want to be like him. I'm just <laughs> saying that, like, when it comes to, like, power and, like... Yeah. That dude was dope. Like, I mean, he you could... you He did some crazy shit with his powers. So his whole purpose was basically to make Jessica Jones fall in love with him. Yeah, he's fucking obsessed. He's a creeper. He's a, he's a stalker. Yeah. And so he's a stalker powers, with so superpowers. His powers can't make people fall in love with him, then? No, I guess not. So it's, that's still... Falls in the rule then, that stupid rule. From Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Otherwise, he would have just told her. I don't know. Yep. Best things in life aren't free. <laughs> oh man. But. I mean, okay, so overall, that's what I'm, I mean, that's overall, I give it a, what did I say? I don't know. I didn't even rate it, did I? I don't know. But, uh, well, the last, well, I think you already said it, but, like, the last couple, few episodes, they dragged away. Yeah, they could have definitely, they could have reduced the last four to two. Yeah. Or even Even one. Even one. Um, because they, there's just so much, so much, so much shit. There's so much dialogue. There was so much like side story shit that didn't even like pertain to Jessica. Yeah. Between Malcolm and, and Kilgrave the... too. Like as soon as he got away, they should have been focused on getting him back. Yeah. yeah there was a lot. Like but... if you were really trying to save the city. Yeah. Or if you were really just trying to save anyone. Yeah. You wouldn't fucking hesitate as much as they fucking. Yeah, they hesitated. had so much downtime. Like, yeah, they're like, oh, I did. Let's go sleep. back to our apartment. Like, yeah. Shit. Like no, go fucking kill him. <sighs> Yeah. And then, and then, how many episodes did she try to? There was so many. It took so long for her to save Hope. There was like, th- yeah, there was like three episodes where, well, this is my whole thing with Hope, is that like Jessica had literally met dozens of people that had been like affected by Kilgrave, mm-hmm. and then like Hope's the person, Hope's the fucking person that's just like. Oh, like, I can't kill Kilgrave because I need to get out of prison. Yeah. Like, people have died because of this guy, and he's still killing people. And you're going to, like, you're going to, like, ignore the fact that he needs to just die mm-hmm. because of this girl. And like, then when she gets out, 
This is when oh, like, she gosh. gets knocked that out. That was the fucking craziest shit. She gets knocked out so she can't pick her up, right? She She's late to picking her up from being free. Yeah, for the prison because Kilgrave... What Kilgrave does is he's the one who essentially puts her in prison through the her actions, through his mind control. But then he, in order to try to win Jessica's love, he like... Um, he mind controls the like the judge to sign off on her release papers. Well, like, he he wanted to do that to trade with his dad too. Yeah, and so for his dad, hope. So yeah, so he gets. So Jessica's supposed to pick her up from prison. She like gets knocked out by the fucking crazy ass next door neighbor, mm-hmm. and um, wakes up late. Hope like calls her says where are you she gets to the um jessica jones gets to the prison to, to pick her up and the guy and the prison guard says she was picked up like 20 minutes ago Kilgrave has hope it's a trap yeah. akbar and she gets to the bar and like the people that she cares about oh well, no, no no one person she really cares about her next door neighbor malcolm yeah. and three of in the, the people malcolm in the middle yeah <laughs> it might have been in the middle of that situation <laughs> right and then Three people from, like, a support group of people who've been mind-controlled by Kilgrave are, like, um, on nooses, like, with, with, like, chairs under... Oh, no, standing on a bar that yeah. Kilgrave's rigged, um, and he can mind-control all of them to walk off the bar and hang themselves. And then, meanwhile, he's sitting with Hope. And this is... Granted, this is literally, like, an hour after she's been set free from prison. <laughs> yeah. And Hope is, like, looking at her and saying, you need to kill him. Like while this is going down but jessica's faced with a decision do i save these four people that are going to get hung so ultimately hope makes the decision for and like breaks this damn uh wine well, wine yeah. bottle right no, or I think glass. It's a glass wine glass yeah. yeah and she basically just makes it rough and sharp edges she's, on it yeah she breaks it and then stabs herself in the fucking neck yep it's like no that wasn't even mind control that was all her uh, that's all for no reason for no reason so the so all 11 no 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 sorry up to this point it's like 8 or 9 yeah like 8 or 9 fucking episodes <laughs> to try to set this girl free the yeah. girl gets out of prison it kills get out of jail free card <laughs> and stabs her kills herself yeah bleeds out bleeds out on the floor <laughs> and it's like you gotta kill him and tells Jessica you have to kill him and I'm so confused cause I'm like, like Jessica you don't fucking care about anyone. Yeah. Like, why this girl? And then, like, sh- everything that Jessica does is centered around this fucking girl. Maybe and she I'm- saw herself in her. Yeah. That's a only- naive, blonde, ch- like, what, cheerleader? What is- was she cheerleader or some shit like that? Oh, a- a gymnastics oh, or yeah. some bullshit like that? Yeah. Or track. Track, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Same, Same <thing>. shit. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> So, yeah, so that was another thing that kind of, like, made me want to bang my head against the door. I'm like, Jessica, if you would have just, like, given into your your base instincts, you would have killed this guy. And, like, it's like that butterfly effect shit. Mm-hmm. By, like, let... there It was inescapable by, like, letting her go. She was going to die either way. Like, yeah. she might have been better in prison, if you think about it now. Yeah. Um, another thing is, like, I know we... I think we kind of talked about it, but, like, uh, the whole evidence thing that evidence episode oh gosh that was crazy yeah that was a pretty good episode but like when they were recording him and shit yeah so they have him they, there's a point where they have him trapped in this um, this soundproof room mm-hmm. cause that's the cause his natural power he can't affect people through uh, telecommunications like through phones or radio or or anything other than his and other than you hearing his voice firsthand. So in this room, they can communicate through him and they have like an intercom on both sides so he can talk to them too if they have the line open. And so he can't even his he's basically altered useless. His powers are altered useless in this room and they're trying to get a confession out of him mm-hmm. so they can just get hope out le- through the legal system. Yeah. That doesn't work out. And like shit goes down, and yeah, he... so Trinity, tr- Trinity, Trinity, yeah. Trinity, the lesbian Trinity, uh, she apparently cut the wire to do the buzz thing, right? Yeah. So, so basically, what happened was Jessica Jones finds the dude, finds Kilgrave's parents, which that was another thing that pissed me off. They were just conveniently just like 
in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Um, so, Jessica Jones stumbles by accident across, like, the parents, basically. Well, the mom. Well, she sort of, like, figures out that the mom's been attending the group or whatever. The, the support group, anyway. For Kilgrave victims. And brings the parents to this chamber in this abandoned warehouse. Let's the parents in the room with Kilgrave. So they're susceptible to his mind control. And that's what she's hoping. That's what Jessica Jones is hoping. Because they have, they have the whole room mic'd and they have the camera recording. And he, he basically, like, makes his mother, own mother, like, stab herself. Yeah. And, uh... Before this happens, he, like, gets, he, like, persuades, not even with his powers, just just persuades Trinity, like, literally Trinity from Matrix is, like, this hotshot lawyer in this, in this series, to um, cut the wire that is, like, hooked to this electrocute, this, op- this open current in, through this water in his cell um, to shock him. She cuts the wire before this shit goes down. So when he's about to have the mom stab herself, instead of instead of um, the water shocking him through the open current and like disabling him, it's like disconnected and basically the mother is just stabbing herself and Jessica's like fighting it in the room because it's all vaulted up and locked. So this all goes down and this is on camera still and audio and there's also a police captain who's witnessing this. That's another story. So we're just trying to sum it up for you guys, like, in very broad terms. They have the evidence to get Hope out of prison now. But this guy, Simpson guy, who we haven't talked about yet, who's supposed to be this guy Nuke from the comics, he starts off as a, uh, well, actually, no, he starts off as a bad guy under Kilgrave's control. Then he breaks Kilgrave's control, becomes this good guy who's all about helping Jessica try to hunt down Kilgrave. But then he goes fucking crazy, like, after getting injured. Yeah. Um, he, like, meets up with some old um, pals, which we are assuming are his super soldier program pals, who give him this medicine, which turns him into a fucking killing machine. Like, it literally turns him into, like, Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed. And he, like, um, goes nuts and starts losing his mind progressively through like the last half of the of the series so he he just wants to kill Kilgrave by the end of the series so this is near the end when this shit goes down in the in the abandoned warehouse he comes in after the fact like after everything all the shit's gone down meets up with the police captain who knows him because he's been working at the state the police station and he like he he t- at, gets the information from this police captain where everyone's gone after this this craziness has taken place. And he fucking kills the police captain and burns the whole room with the camera evidence and the audio evidence of Kilgrave being able to mind control people so they could use it in a court of law. And so David and I are fucking watching this and we're like, what the fuck, dude? Like... Why? It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even fucking make sense why he would do it. That's why I'm thinking he's just out of his fucking mind. Because, like, he just wants to kill Kilgrave. He doesn't have anything to gain from destroying the evidence. So that that was, like, a nice touch. Because it was like, yeah, he's just, like, shitting all over their, like, pursuits. <laughs> like, everything they've worked so hard to attain is, like, literally just, like, being... Ho- like, Hope fucking kills herself... And this guy just burns all their fucking evidence that they like worked for like literally a month now to try to yeah. get to put together. So that happens. So now Simpson is like this secret, this like hidden enemy that they have to watch out for. Kilgrave is the enemy, and whoever else he gets to mind control, which also ends up being Luke Cage at the end. Yeah. And I thought he was gonna be gone after that. After she revealed that she killed his wife, yeah, she, she ends wife. up revealing that she killed Riva. After, because he was gonna kill the bus driver, 
Right. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, yeah he was going to kill the bus driver because he... Another thing about this story is that um, Luke Cage lost his wife, Reva, in the show. And no one knows what happened until Jessica Jones kind of like has these flashbacks of her under Kilgrave's control and her killing Reva herself. They were both, I guess, at one point, Reva and Jessica, under Kilgrave's control. Yeah. And so it, Jessica, outside against her will, kills Reva, which is connected to Luke Cage's wife. And Jessica has been spying on Luke Cage the first few episodes and uh, ends up sleeping with him because she like ends up becoming his stalker. So Kilgrave's Jessica Jones stalker, but Jessica Jones, meanwhile, is like Luke Cage's stalker. <laughs> and like they end up in this weird af- like sexual like affair. And then they end up being like together at the end, but not before Kilgrave like gets to Luke Cage in their like separated phase. Yeah. And, uh, like, brainwashes him and tells... Yeah, that was crazy. Like, he has him wait at his bar, like, until Jessica Jones finally come, decides to come see him. And then he fucking blows the bar up with him inside of it. And... So I'm guessing he... Kilgrave knew he was... He had powers? I... You know, now that you mention it, yeah, he would have. Because... Which... Because he w- told him to give him updates and all that shit. Yeah. About where they were. Right? Yeah. And the uh, 16 hour rule, it's, it wasn't a 12 hour rule, it was a 16 hour rule, I think. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, so there was a lot of things. The whole thing gives you like this feeling of like, oh, you're finally getting somewhere, but then like, it's like they take one, they take like one step forward, but two steps back. That's what the whole series felt like. Mm -hmm. and like that pisses me off because it's like jessica jones you're supposed to be like this this hot shot superhuman but like you just are failing miserably at everything and then what i didn't kind of get was when um (sighs) this is kind of like not that big of a deal but apparently they're giving murder charges to pam i think the oh yeah the one that saved trinity yeah which doesn't make I don't know. I thought that was like some type of defense thing. Well, yeah. I mean, you're saving somebody, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know how it works because I'm not a lawyer or anything. But I mean, what? It's a (laughs) shibby. Like when? So (sighs) we got to explain this to them because if they haven't seen it. Trinity, the lawyer, is going through a divorce with her ex. And, like, under Kilgrave's control, he asks her to take them to a safe place or to someone he trusts. And her ex happens to be a nurse. So she, or a doctor. Or a doctor, whatever the fuck she is. And so Kilgrave and Trinity, that's not her name in the show. We're just <laughs> making a Matrix reference. <laughs> We don't know the actress's name either. So Damn. Kilgrave and Trinity go back, go to the ex's house and like basically like knock down the door practically. Um, and Kilgrave like tells the doctor, the the ex that's a doctor, to heal him because he's been like injured. This is after that whole. Yeah, he got shot. Yeah, he got shot. This is after that whole incident at the abandoned warehouse. So then, as Kilgrave's making his escape, he shows he tells the ex, who's a doctor, to like basically just kill Trinity with a thousand cuts. With a cu- thousand cuts, which is like weird because that's like a Japanese reference, I think. Nice. Um. And so the ex, who's a doctor, the ex-wife or whatever, or the soon-to-be ex-wife, like is like stabbing the hell out of trinity with a scalpel like chasing around the house and shit and then like out of nowhere the girl that trinity is having an affair with which has led to this divorce like happens to come to the door of the ex's house where they're at and she's getting like wrecked she's getting shat on right now the scalpel and like op breaks down the door like kicks open the door and just like knocks the ex 
the doctor who is an ex, the doctor, the ex-wife who's a doctor, in the back of the head while she's like under Kilgrave's mind control, and her head like splits open on the coffee table from the blow. And kill and it kills her like, yeah, instantly basically. And so, this Pam chick, who's the lawyer, who's Trinity's secretary, at the law firm, she's like in jail, like about to be incarcerated for, like murder, be, for killing this person. So, it brings the question like, well, what the fuck? Like, she was hurting someone else, and someone else comes in and like, kills her. That's because if you kill anyone, whether you're in the right or wrong, you still have to go before court. Like, you still face charges. Mm. Even if you were, like, in totally in the right and defending yourself, you still have to be tried for it. Uh-huh. Um, so I'm guessing that's why. But, like, it makes it seem like she's going to prison. Yeah. You know, it's funny. is like, we have already talked about this a while back, but how it's so hard for them to... Like, I don't know, provide evidence that mind control is real. Yeah. <laughs> we keep saying how the Avengers have already experienced that shit so many times. Oh, yeah, yeah. That like, was another, like, contradiction. It's like... Like, they could easily vouch for them. Yeah, and through the whole series, they keep making these, like, these reference, these hints and these uh, references to the... Avengers. The f- yeah, and the first crisis. Yeah. Where the aliens break through the sky and everything. Mm-hmm. They literally say that, like, at one time. Yeah. And so they I mean, they recognize that, like, other, like, supernatural shit happens. Yeah. But they don't, like... But then when it comes to, like, these group of people saying they've all been mind-controlled in the same way... Yeah. They're like, oh, you guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, you have like a whole group of... That can't happen. Uh, Hawkeye's being mind-controlled. Come on. But right? And so... Bad for that shit. It just... It's it's a... You know what it is? It's a lack of... Um, it's a lack of thinking on the... Well, the people who write the script and are writing the... the they didn't. They didn't take enough time to really think through everything that's happened... It's mm. like, oh, let's make some Avengers references <laughs> for the fan service. Yeah. But like they keep... let's not actually logically tie it into how everything works. Yeah, because they mentioned the Hulk, even though without saying his name. And uh, we saw the Captain America kid wearing a costume. Yeah. Is that guy? That yeah. Kid? And yeah, then remember, that. remember the episode where I think it was five or, yeah, five, where it might have been four, but how she, when she, like, that, that woman who went to her to try to, get Jessica Jones to stalk her uh, husband. Yeah. It wasn't really uh, an affair or whatever. Yeah. She just wanted to kill Jessica because of what happened to her mom. And, and in when, that, the, when the towers fell or whatever. Yeah. In that Avengers 1. Uh, when they like leveled the city basically. Yeah. So she wanted to kill Jessica Jones because of that. Even though it wasn't she... her that did it. <laughs> it was the Avengers yeah. that did that. So Jessica Jones makes a reference to uh, the Hulk again. Mm-hmm. She says something like, "What? You go take it up with the yeah, you go the, take it out with like those. the green guy or whatever, or the flag, um, the flag waver." Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, that's pretty funny. And then she just goes AWOL and like wrecks the house or the apartment. And that guy wants to divorce her. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of shit that just, like, was, like, unnecessary. And yeah, I think that's just... the worst part about it is, like, the drag, they dra- dragged on. They could yeah, because it, it was It could have been really... an eight-episode series, maybe e- ten. Yeah, even though she was, like, fucking weak and their Avengers references didn't logically add up to, like, what was going on in the current situation. Mm-hmm. Um, it was really intriguing. It was just that it lost steam near the end, and that's why I was just, like... Like, you should... If I was... Like, David knows... I was like, where the fuck's Daredevil? Like, where's more cameos? <laughs> yeah, when we saw... Give us some more cameos. Like, okay, first of all, when she... I forgot why she needed a lawyer. Was it... She remember she walked up to Trinity and she was like, I need a lawyer. Do you remember why? Oh, yeah, because she needed to... Um, she was gonna... She was gonna commit some crazy crime to try to get locked up in Supermax prison. Oh, so you need a lawyer for that? Well, you, you need a lawyer that's going... Yeah, to represent you. 
So she need, basically needed Trinity to say like, put her in there. Put her in jail. Like sh- she's pleading guilty to all counts, basically. Oh, okay. But yeah, when she said that, we were like, uh, Matt Murdock. Yeah. Right. Matt Murdock. Last mask. Matt Murdock. He needs a job. And then well, and that then was we broke. And then we started to see some similarities. Yeah. We saw uh, Brett Mahoney. Yeah. The cop from Daredevil. Yeah. When I saw him walking, I was like, shit. Are we going to see freaking Matt Murdock? And then uh, later we saw, um, and then, oh, yeah, and then we meet Claire, yeah. the nurse. Like, she's she a was in there for a good while, too. Yeah. I didn't expect that. But, yeah, we never saw Daredevil at all. Yeah, and I'm like, that would have actually made up for the dragginess. Yeah, that would have been sick. Like, if they would have had a Daredevil cameo in the first season. Yeah, I would really, uh, that would have been cool. But, yeah, they dragged on at the last, last act. It's just, remember, I think it was the last episode, too, it was really stupid, is when, um, what was it, Trish, she came in with the, what was it, the Beach by Dre? <laughs> it came in looking like that damn chick from Devil May Cry. Yeah, DMC, mm-hmm. the new one. Uh, so, it, they had a plan, I guess, and that... It was a stupid, stupid ass plan. Uh, yeah. Or, or she, or Jessica didn't, like... Didn't listen correctly. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, she came running up through the front. <laughs> yeah. Like, what I, the fuck? It had, it the, made they had a perfect diversion. Yeah. It made no sense. Like, like so. You uh, have a decoy right there. Yeah. So Trish goes in as a decoy with headphones. Yeah. On. It looks like Jessica. Yeah. And even Kilgrave thinks it's Jessica. So I'm like, this is perfect. They've baited this perfectly. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, meanwhile, Jessica's on the second floor of this, like, train station or whatever the fuck they're at. I think it's a boat, as a docking house for boats or whatever. And Jessica's on the second floor, so you, you're expecting her to run around Kilgrave and, like, assassinate him from behind. Yeah, like Assassin's Creed. She, like, reveals herself <laughs> in f- in their line of sight. Yeah, in front of all the cops. In and... front of all the, pe- all the mind-controlled cops that have guns and shit. And David and I are looking at one another as we're watching this, like, what the fuck? How does that make any sense? Because <laughs> you can clearly see how there's room to run around the room on the second floor. But what does Jessica do? She stands up, makes them aware she's there, and then jumps straight into them. Yeah. Like, from the second story, and I'm like... And she doesn't even fly. He's why did like... you even need a decoy? You could have just ran yeah, right through. it doesn't make any sense. And know. then, not to mention, like, the, all the other times she was in combat and she just got wrecked. And you, she, you're, we're told she's, and, like, given reason to believe she's this super strong person, superhuman. And, um, and she just, like, gets a shit, gets her ass handed to her. Mm-hmm. And she also fought Luke Cage when he was under mind control. Yeah. That's... Yeah, and then what's crazy about that is she takes some crazy-ass hits from him when he's under mind control. Yeah. Not to mention that battle with Simpson in the apartment. Oh, yeah. Where she gets, like, thrown through a wall, like, three times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she's fine, but she can't take, like, four stun batons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing is, like, um... What was I going to say? Shit. Damn it. Before the mind control, or... Oh, yeah, that's how... The reason why we see Claire is because she knocks and look out with a uh, shoddy, right? Mm. So we... So she sends... She goes... Brings in a hospital. I don't know why. I guess just to <laughs> see Claire, because there's no other reason yeah, for Yeah, like, did you not think that they wouldn't <laughs> be able to help him? Yeah, he's a... His unbreakable skin. You, he's like, Superman. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was pretty weird. <laughs> it's just to show Claire, basically. Yeah. And then when he finally wakes up, like, shit, go after Kilgrave. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? Oh, God, that whole episode where he wakes up, um, he has, like, that shirt off, his mm-hmm. shirt off. Oh, and he's in the <laughs> towel. <laughs> God. Oh, gosh. Yeah, like, they just, like, Jessica and Luke finally meet up again. And you're just, and I'm joking the whole fucking time saying, like, they're going to have sex any minute now. <laughs> yeah, it, it really looked like they were and about they, to. Yeah, like, every comes, pause, every quiet pause. Yeah, you're just expecting them to just hop on one another and start, like, humping like monkeys. But. 
It was like shit. Go go after Kilgrave, damn. Yeah. And the other thing stupid. they we didn't talk about is like how after at the end, um, while Kilgrave's like hidden away, he's with his dad, um, trying to amplify his powers. Yeah. So he could like control through everything, not just through like one on one or mm-hmm. whatever, even through phones and shit. Um, the other th- question I had is like, w- did that spray virus thingy even work? We did, never found out. Yeah, we I don't never think we ever out. find out. I think that I want to say it worked. I want to say it worked. What? How did the dad die again? I can't remember. He gets that his guy, arms cut off. Yeah. Um. The, he told that guy to take wipe him out of the face or wipe him off the planet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Did, what's that saying? Well, Might yeah. be off the face of the earth. Yeah. So. Um. So yeah, I guess you're right. There are some cool like. Shit. What was I gonna say? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So the dad. Yeah. So y- you're left with this question because the dad actually creates like a cure for this virus. You find out that Kilgrave's ability is actually just this virus that he's learned to like hone basically. So the dad, this is after the mother stabbed herself and killed herself. Um, the dad like already has a form, uh, has a vaccine like a uh, something to fight the the Kilgrave like Kilgrave's virus with, or like already practically finished. And he like does some more tests and shit, figures it out, and then before like Jessica hands him over to Kilgrave, he like sprays that shit on him. But you're wondering like, as in the shots where Kilgrave's asking him to do, like, crazy shit, he has this, like, look that tells you, like, he's in control. Yeah. But he's, like, trying to put on an act for Kilgrave, especially the hand in the blender part. Yeah. Like, in everyone else that he has to do shit, they don't even hesitate. They just yeah, go for he, it. And he hesitated. And he kept like, talking back to him, too. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't see that often with and, others. And that's another thing, too, is, like, as Kilgrave, I'm surprised he's so such a dumbass he didn't realize it. Yeah. So I'm mean, yeah I'm thinking it worked too. That's the same thing I believe. I think that but he just got overwhelmed. Uh, I guess the power still did get amplified though. Yeah. So when maybe when his power got amplified, he he was able to actually control his dad because only Jessica's immune. Yeah. So the powers didn't even though being amplified at the end didn't. It didn't. He could still couldn't control Jessica. Mm-mm. And that at the very end was a little. Like, they made it so much more dramatic than it had to. Because yeah, at the end, she were, were at, the, at the dock or whatever. Yeah. With all those by people. By the yacht. Yeah. yeah, by the... All those people fighting each other. Mm-hmm. She could have just ran up and killed them. Yeah, that was a... And he, oh, what does that remind me of? Oh, remember when Boromir dies in, in the first Lord of the Rings in Fellowship of the Ring? No. What? Which one is he? I don't, I'm not the, good with Lord of the Rings. It's like the end of the first Lord of the Rings movie in the forest where the, the uh, Urukai, like, with the white hand over his face, like the badass dude with the big sword, kills Boromir with arrows. You have to remember this part. Lord of the Rings? Yeah. It's been forever, man. Damn, if man. I see it, I rem- I remember. It was a memorable part where he's just loading him up with arrows one by one. <laughs> that sounds awesome. In the forest. Shit, dude. I don't know who that character is. He's the badass. He's a badass villain. Okay, well, that the part... The bad guy gets killed? No. Oh. It's a bad guy killing a good guy. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, damn it, David. So, that part in just going to remind me of that, because basically what's going on is, like, in Lord of the Rings, like, this guy is, like, chopping people down as he's getting to the good guy. Yeah. And, like... And Jessica Jones, like, she could have eat. She's just, like, watching this shit go down and, like, trying to st- defuse the situation one by one, but not realizing that she can't stop the mind yeah, control. Yeah, idiot. Yeah, she's, like, a total They're going to keep fighting each other. Yeah. That's how you stop him. And, like, she, it's, like, it's, like, for her, it's, like, can you really knock people out without risking just killing them in one blow? Like. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he yells, stop, and everyone stops. And she stops too, like she. Oh my gosh! Yeah, like he just wanted to make it dramatic. Yeah, she even he. She even let her 
sister like go up to him and kiss him like that that was what, what the shocked, fuck are you doing that's what shocked me too is like dude like <laughs> you totally just like let your sister just like i know suck mouth like <laughs> suck face with Kilgrave. god in like a really like intimate passionate yeah way it's so like, screwed up like, you, like jessica you're you not had like, control jessica like you're so fucking weird <laughs> she just wanted <laughs> you just wanted so, to see that you're so nasty, Jessica. <laughs> oh, gosh. my gosh. Because that whole time she was... And, like, that bitch never showers either. You realize that? Oh, yeah. Dude, like, I feel well, like she's hella gross. I think she did once in one of the early episodes. Yeah, like, one shower out of 12 episodes. That's, <laughs> cur- that's pretty bad. <laughs> gosh. But yeah, so at the end, she did that whole, like, I love you. Um, see, uh, I was a safe word, safe phrase. Mm-hmm. And then snaps, kills Graves' neck. Finally. Yeah, that was that. Was, I love the way she killed him, but yeah. I don't like how long it took yeah. and how they fucking went about it. Yeah. Oh, Hope's dead. I can go back to killing people now. <laughs> See, when when there's no hope, then you could kill. I guess. Oh, you know, I remember how a he, God of War three reference. <laughs> remember how he uh he he made that pun. That was pretty funny. How about what? When he was like. He said something like, um, come here or there's no hope or whatever. Oh, yeah, that pun that was awesome. Yeah, I love that. Message. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said, like, come here or lose all hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that's good. laughs> uh, well, I'm glad they killed him off because I, I was starting to get tired of Kilgrave. Yeah, I was getting pissed off too. Cause I would have like, been pissed if they, did a, if they pulled off uh, Daredevil and kept him. Yeah, I, was, I don't mind Kingpin staying alive. Yeah, because Kingpin's like that dude that's always supposed to like yeah. escape. You yeah. Know? But, yeah, for Kilgrave, I was just like, I, I kind of wish he would have just like succeeded and Jessica Jones would die <laughs> at the end of the series. Done in this mind control shit. <laughs> but so I'm interested how they're going to continue because if it's not mind control, it is going to be just brute strength. Fighting? I don't know. Uh, She's the private investigator. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do season two. Uh, I'm not sure yet. But they they are doing the whole like collaboration with all four: Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Jessica J. They'll probably do like (laughs) one of the first collab episodes when Daredevil comes back on. What? They'll probably do one of the first collab episodes. Wow. When Daredevil for, comes back on. Maybe. Remember that episode where it was like they had a little sister bonding shit? Mm-hmm. Well, there was a bunch of black flashback, which was, I like, guess, okay. But then there's that part when they were talking about Luke Cage. Remember what that? Part? They were, like, saying he's hot and shit. Oh, gosh, That yeah. turned into, like, a whole different show at that part. Yeah, it turned into a damn, like, teenage reality, like, bullshit. <laughs> I felt like I was watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. <laughs> God. All right. Well, shit. So. That was a whole hour. I'll give it a. I think we already rated it, did we? Did we? Shit, I don't know. I give it a <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe we just rated the, her looks. I think that's what we rated. Yeah, we rated her looks. <laughs> okay, what would you give it? I'll give rating? it a seven. Out of four? <laughs> yeah, I give it um hmm. <laughs> You're like, oh I have to disagree with it. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think. Did I enjoy it as much? Probably not. It was good the first half, but that dragging uh oh, killed it. So I think seven's probably a good score. I definitely mm-hmm. like Daredevil more. Yeah, I don't. You didn't like I don't even like Daredevil. And I like I liked that series more. <laughs> but there was a, there was a perfect balance of action and and like dialogue and story and shit. Yeah. The only unnecessary shit in Daredevil was like Froggy and that chick Aww. that works with him. Oh. I wish we could have reviewed Daredevil, but it's kind of too late for that shit. It was good. Watch it. Cool. Yeah. I did. I give that a good a good nine. Yeah, I give that a nine too. There's not a lot wrong with it. <laughs> Look at this damn Iron Fist costume shit. <laughs> Gosh. 
gosh. Uh, all right. Send this off. All right. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you think if you see Jessica Jones. Like, if you if you liked it, if you hated it. And if you haven't seen it, watch a few episodes and tell us what you think. Not her looks. Cause, and her looks. Don't rate her looks. Rate don't. her looks. What do you guys think if of her? If you can, when you're watching it, don't even look at her. <laughs> Just try to look at everything but her on the screen. <laughs> listen to it. It's a podcast show. Yeah, listen Listen to the audio from the show. Don't even watch the... Gosh. But yeah, rate the show and rate her. Let us know in the comments below. Heroic enemy out. In. In and then out. Outside in. In and then out. We could go with in. You could go with out. That's not how the song goes. <laughs> you could go with in or you could go without. <laughs> you could go with in or you could go without.